Have you ever wondered why your car's fuel efficiency suddenly drops? It's annoying to see your fuel tank empty faster than your wallet can handle. You might blame your driving habits, but what if the real problem is failing car sensors? In today's video, we'll cover five important sensors that directly affect your fuel economy. We'll explain how they work and what happens when they stop working properly. Stay with us till the end, because the last sensor isn't just important, it could actually save you serious money by cutting down your fuel costs. Let's get started. Sensor 5. Oxygen Sensor, or O2 Sensor. The oxygen sensor works like your car's air checker. It sits in the exhaust manifold or exhaust pipe and measures how much oxygen is left in the gases after combustion. This small device sends constant data to your car's computer, ECU, helping it balance the air-fuel mix for best efficiency. When it works properly, your engine runs smoothly, pollution stays low, and you get good fuel mileage. But if it starts to fail, the ECU receives wrong signals. This can make your engine run too rich, where extra fuel doesn't burn, or too lean, where the mix struggles to ignite. Both problems hit your fuel economy hard. You may notice black smoke, fuel smells, and fewer miles per gallon. A bad O2 sensor can lower fuel efficiency by 15 to 40 percent, depending on how bad it is. To clean it, disconnect the battery, find and remove the O2 sensor, spray the tip with O2 sensor cleaner, gently brush off carbon buildup, and let it dry completely before reinstalling. If cleaning fixes it, you save a lot, usually under $20. But if you need a replacement, the cost can be $150 to $500 with parts and labor. Still, it's a small expense that pays off in fuel savings. Sensor 4, Mass Airflow Sensor, or MAF Sensor. The MAF sensor sits between the air filter and the intake manifold, measuring all the air your engine breathes in. The ECU uses this information to calculate how much fuel to inject for the right mix. A healthy MAF sensor helps your engine run smoothly, gives you steady acceleration, and keeps your gas mileage normal. Trouble begins when dirt, dust, or oil coats the sensor. Its tiny wires can't read the airflow correctly, so the ECU makes wrong adjustments. Too much fuel means you waste gas with every push of the pedal. Too little fuel means rough idling, hesitation, or even stalling. A dirty MAF can cut fuel efficiency by up to 20% and make the car feel weak. Thankfully, cleaning is simple. Remove the intake tube, disconnect the wiring, carefully take out the sensor, spray the sensor with MAF cleaner, never scrub or touch it, and let it dry completely before reinstalling. The cleaning spray costs only $10 to $25, but replacing it can cost $240 to $680, including labor. Cleaning first can save you hundreds. Before we move to the third sensor, take a second to tap the like button and subscribe. Every tip we share is designed to help you save fuel and keep your car in top shape. Now let's check out the third sensor, the one that connects your foot to the engine. Sensor 3. Throttle Position Sensor, or TPS. Think of the TPS as the microphone for your gas pedal. Every time you press the pedal, the TPS turns that movement into signals for the ECU, telling it how far to open the throttle plate. This makes sure the engine gets the right amount of fuel at the right time. When it's working properly, acceleration feels smooth, fuel economy stays steady, and the car responds quickly. But if it starts to fail, the ECU gets confused by your inputs. This can cause jerky acceleration, sudden stalling, and a big drop in fuel efficiency, sometimes up to 30% worse mileage. The check engine light often turns on too. Before replacing, try cleaning it. First, disconnect the battery to safely reset the ECU. Remove the intake duct to reach the throttle body. The TPS is located on the side of it. Spray throttle body cleaner around the sensor and throttle plate, then wipe off any carbon buildup. Reconnect everything and reset the battery. Cleaning usually costs $15 to $30 for the cleaner. Replacing it, however, can cost $150 to $400 depending on your car. If cleaning works, you save money and get back smooth performance. Sensor 2. Fuel Pressure Sensor. 
The fuel pressure sensor is like a traffic controller for your fuel system. It monitors the pressure in the fuel rail and makes sure the injectors deliver the exact right amount of fuel. When it's working well, you get smooth starts, balanced power, and strong fuel efficiency. But when it fails, the ECU can't regulate fuel delivery correctly. Too much fuel means wasted gas. Too little means misfires, hesitation, or weak performance. Over time, this can also put extra strain on the fuel pump, which can lead to expensive repairs. To clean it, disconnect the battery, find the fuel rail and locate the pressure sensor, unplug the wiring connector carefully and remove the sensor gently. Spray electrical contact cleaner on the sensor and connector pins. Let it dry fully before reinstalling. Cleaning usually costs $10 to $20, while a replacement can run anywhere from $250 to $650 with labor. Cleaning isn't always a permanent fix, but it often restores proper readings, improves fuel economy, and reduces stress on the fuel pump. Taking care of it early not only saves fuel costs, but can also help you avoid larger repair bills later. Finally, at number one, we have the master strategist that keeps your engine running efficiently. Sensor one, engine coolant temperature sensor, or ECT sensor. The ECT sensor is small but powerful. Its job is to constantly track the temperature of your coolant and tell the ECU whether the engine is cold or warm. This helps the ECU adjust the fuel mixture for the best performance. When the sensor works correctly, your car warms up fast, burns fuel efficiently, and runs smoothly. But if it fails, the ECU may think the engine is always cold. That triggers cold start enrichment, which means extra fuel keeps flooding the engine nonstop. The result is hard starts, black smoke, weak performance, and wasted fuel. To clean it, disconnect the battery first. Locate the sensor near the thermostat housing. Unplug the wiring connector. Carefully remove the sensor, but only when the engine is completely cool. Spray the sensor tip and connector with contact cleaner, then let it dry fully before reinstalling. Cleaning often solves wrong readings, but if the sensor still acts up, Replacement is the best way to restore fuel efficiency and smooth performance. Cleaning usually costs $10 to $15, while replacing it can cost $120 to $250. That's a small price when you consider the fuel savings and better engine health it brings. And there you have it, five key sensors that can affect your fuel economy in a big way. Taking care of them not only saves you money at the pump, but keeps your car running strong for years to come. If you found this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe for more fuel saving tips, and share your own sensor cleaning experiences in the comments below. Before you go, check out our next video on simple secrets to keep your engine running like new. It's packed with easy tricks you'll definitely want to know.